I'm charged up. Hey guys, what's up? Back with another NBA 2K19 Bronny James My Career Series Episode 7. We have a special episode. It's really special because we have Mikey Williams. Alright, so Mikey Williams did end up leaving LeBron James Jr. and the Roadrunners a couple years ago. Remember, we're in our senior year. If you missed the last episode, check it out in the description below. So right now, if we go all the way to a different team, we have Mikey Williams playing for the Cougars. Now, if we go to the roster, their team is called the San Ysidro Cougars. I don't know how to pronounce it, but they have Mikey Williams. He became an offensive superstar once he joined this team. Like, really good. He's 89 overall. He's an offensive superstar. Ball handling, vertical, lateral quickness. And uh, yeah, he's really good. They actually have his cyber face. Shout out to Dominus and Enter the Void. They are the ones who hooked me up with this right here. Look at this cyber face. That's Mikey Williams right there. Just so happens we have a game today against Mikey Williams and the sign Sam Weiss. I don't know how to pronounce your name, man. But we have LeBron James Jr., a new cyber face. Now, last week, I if you have notifications on, you already know. Because if you have notifications on, I post on the community tab a lot. And you guys can interact with me there. Give me some, uh, like, help me out if I have a question with something. If you're asking for you guys feedback on something. You guys are always there to help me out, so appreciate that. And one of the things was this new cyber face. Now, it was like 50-50. Some of you guys said you want this one. Some of you guys said you want the older one. But for this video, we're going to use this one. And you guys can let me know if you want me to change it back. But personally, I think this one is the best one yet. Look how accurate the hair is, the face, everything. So that's the new Bronny James right there. Now, remember, he did hit a growth spurt. He's 6'6 now. Mikey Williams, I got to go back and see his height. Mikey Williams is 6'4. Point guard, 6'4. So, uh, this should be a good matchup. Let's get into the game. So, here we are playing at the Cougars Palace. Is that what they're going to call it? I don't know. But Mikey Williams versus LeBron James Jr. 29 points versus 9 points a game. I don't know how he's only scoring 9 points a game, but this should be a really good matchup right here. Former teammates now going head to head. Kind of rivals because Mikey didn't leave on good terms. Let me just put it like that. All right, so beginning the game off, Mikey Williams with the ball, calling for the screen. He pulls up and he misses his first shot. Now remember, he's an offensive superstar. The bald headed dude shoots, he misses. We can't get a rebound to save our lives. Again, we finally get a rebound right here. I call for the ball. We're on the fast break right here. I could dunk on you. I could dunk on you. But instead, I draw the foul. First free throw in. And guess what happens? Second free throw, as usual, it's up and I actually miss it. Now, how I missed it, I don't know. 2K was uh, not liking me this game. Let's just put it like that. Bald white kid with the ball. He's trying to get something going. He shoots it. I don't know why he shot that. That was contested. But again, we're doing a fast break offense literally the whole time. Mike D'Antoni offense. And it's been working for us this whole season. That's why we're doing really good. We have our shooter missing shots. I mean, you have the three-point symbol right by your last name and you're missing a three-point shot. Come on, we expect better from you. It was such a weird start to this game. And it's a two-to-one game. Now, in the post, I got to use my skills. I'm taller. I got to learn how to shoot in the post. So I do a spin shot and it goes in. Mikey Williams with the ball, he does a mean step back, but he misses it. Look, 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 you're not James Harden. I call for the ball, he turns it over, gets the block. What a weird start to this game. All right, hopefully we can get some sort of stableness in this game because I'm just trying to, you know, go off. It's a good it's a good matchup right here. I'm pretending like I know how to dribble when I don't. Look at me. I look stupid looking at this. Oh my God, hop step in the paint. What am I doing? I really don't know what I'm doing. We get the rebound again. Our defense is great. Like, our team is really good at defense. I find Fisher. He gives it back to me right over Mikey. That's what I'm talking about. Now, right here, Mikey, he passes it off. And that was a bad pass because it leads to the steal all the way. But Mikey's hustling back, so I got to do a creative little finish layup switcheroo. I wanted to dunk it. I really did. Mikey with the ball. Calling for yet another screen. He was calling for screens this whole game. Pulling up for the midi, and he makes it. The midi is money with Mikey. That was long sentence right there, but it, it, it was, it's true. I miss a wide open three pointer. All that practice to miss a wide open three pointer. Uh uh, we can't have that happen again. Bald head white kid with the ball again. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Do something. All they do is call for screens, and I'm not gonna lie, I do the same thing. He hits it though. Okay, all right, you got some skill. Now I'm using plays in this game because plays sometimes they work. So right here, I pass it. I want to see if this one works. I see the paint open. Oh yeah, it definitely works. You can't stop Bronny in the post again. I'm trying to do something in the post. I spin off of him. I'm learning how to do these cool different shots because I'm getting taller, right? I'm 6'6", but who knows? I may keep growing, so I may play, you know, I may have to switch around and be center one game. It could be crazy once I get to the college or NBA if I choose to go to college. Now, Mikey Williams spin move, and he gets a nice little layup to go in. This is a, like a really good matchup. Probably one of the best games I've played out of this whole series right here because it was like really even matchup. 
I want to get Zer Wade in the episode, but I got to find... Ooh, get out the way, man. What are you doing? But like I said, I want to uh, find a Zer Wade Cyberface because I want to have Mikey versus Zer Wade. Even though Zer is a little older, but still, that'd be a cool video right there. So if you guys do know of a Zer Wade Cyberface, hit me up with it and I can do a Brownie versus Zer. Now again, Mikey keeps passing the ball. Mikey was really generous this game. He was He's not a ball hog at all. He's an offensive superstar, but he passes the ball a lot. I'm pulling up for the midi, and the midi is money. 100% of the time. I found my guy right here pulling up for the Oh, he passed out of it. Look at the good ball moving right there. That's what I'm talking about. We need more of that. Now look at the step back. The mean step back. In his face. Don't ever give me space. And I'm playing good defense. Out of here. Get that out of here. Go. You can't take a shot over me. You can't. So instead of passing the ball, I decided to be even dumber. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to force a shot up right in your face. Bad decision. That just was uncalled for. Now on defense, Mikey missed another layup. I'm getting the rebound. I'm flying in. First quarter is coming to an end. I want to get a two for one somehow. So I spin off of him. I say, get out the way. Easy finish in the paint. Seven seconds left. Mikey with the ball. He just pulls up for the mid range and the midi is money. I can't stop his mid range jump shot for some reason. But starting out the second quarter, I do a handoff play. I'm cutting and I'm calling for the ball. I see wide open paint and I just take it. That's too easy. Now I'm doing some crossover moves. Mikey's playing lockdown defense this whole game, but I know Fisher's gonna make his shot and he makes it. I do have some shooters. They are inconsistent, but they can shoot sometimes. Now Mikey, he, I thought he was gonna pull up. I really did. Can't leave him open at all, but the other shooter misses the shot. So now we're in a good position. It's a seven point game. I can kind of chill. I can just dump it off right here. My teammate shoots a mid range and he hits it. This game is literally all mid ranges if you think about it. Again, another one. He's like a pure shot creator. Now I have the whole paint to myself and guess what happens. We're getting 360s now as our senior year. Now Mikey with the ball, what's he gonna do? He passes it off, bad decision. Look, Eric Dennis with the reach. I have the whole paint to myself and oh my God, not again. So far, plays have been working in this game. Just throughout this whole season, plays have been working, so I want to use them more. Right here, it hasn't been working because Mikey with the steal, he goes all the way for the one-hand slam. But I was really stubborn. I was determined. I was like, you know what? That was just a one-time thing. He's not going to steal it again. So I do the same play again. I'm waiting for the whole play to play out. I'm waiting. Pass it around. Yup, yup. I don't even know what's going to happen. I'm just guessing what's happening. I call for the ball. Another screen right here. Right? I pass it to Dennis, and I turn it over again. So that's two turnovers in a row. Mikey Williams with the ball, but I still want to do this play because I feel like something cool is going to come out of it. Now on defense, Mikey trying to do something cool. It's not working out. He pulls up. He still hits it, but it was contested. I don't know how that went in. So one more time, I'm doing the play, and Mikey just keeps hacking, and he gets a steal again. That's three steals in a row. So I say, give me the ball. I'm done with you. Give me the ball. I'm going all the way. I see Dennis. I, I'm going to take it all the way. I'm going to take it all the way. Pull up. Dumb shot. Wow. So this time I'm running a different play. I find my teammate wide open on the top and he shoots it. He hits it. I was hoping so because you know what? At this point, they're coming back. It's a six point game and Mikey just keeps scoring nonstop. Like he lives up to his name as an offensive superstar because I didn't expect him to play this good. He has 18 points, but he's just been torturing us from the mid range. Now I'm going all the way, spin move, and I see Eric Dennis open. He passes it. I was hoping he would shoot it. So I got the ball now. And look, Mikey does not stop, so I had to call for a screen, give him a taste of his own medicine. These dunks are happening too easily now, way too easily. On defense, I'm reaching again, I'm getting a steal all the way. I'm going to do a self alley this time, and it works. Now this time, I'm going to cross him over, call for a screen. See Eric Dennis, give it to him, easy finish. So what I'm thinking of doing in the next episode is having the McDonald's All-American game because it will be the last high school episode behind the back pass real quick. Of course, my teammate misses it as I expected, but I want to do the McDonald's All-American game, so I'm thinking of the class of 2023 that Bronny's in, so it's going to have Bronny and Mikey in a reverse slam again. I'm just thinking of who else to have in this McDonald's All-American game. But that's going to be the last episode for high school, and then Mikey hits a full court shot, three-fourths court. That caught me off guard. So like I was saying, I was thinking of doing uh, the McDonald's All-American and then college. Let me know in the description, in the comments below, what college you want him to go to. Because uh, it's a lot of options we have. 
So at this point in the game, we're in the second half. I played for a long time. My stamina isn't down because I did turn off stamina this game just because of Mikey's defense. It was actually ridiculous. So I was like, I'm not going to get any good content if I do have stamina on because for some reason, I have the Gatorade symbol all the time. I dump it off to my teammate. He finishes it. So we're in a good spot right here. We're up by 12, right? Yeah, 10. Yeah, we're up by 12. Mikey again with a mid-range shot. I'm sick and tired of his shooting. I'm sick and tired of it. So I'm going to skip forward. Hold on, hold on. Bang, I don't miss. I think I forgot to tell you guys that part. So I've yet to get a green this whole game, so I had to get one green. Just one green. Midi is money. Every time. I see my teammate wide open. Bounce pass in the paint for another easy two points. It's getting to the point now where I put this on superstar difficulty and it's still getting too easy. He's still hitting his shots though. Don't forget, don't forget that. His whole team wasn't doing too great. I shoot another three-pointer and I make it. There's actually another the two. But right here. I do a spin layup. It, it was getting boring at this point because uh, I already knew I was going to win this game. So let's get forward to the fourth quarter. The fourth quarter is a lot more interesting. One minute left. We're only up by eight points. I take a dumb step back jump shot. Now Mikey Williams' team, the, 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 the Cougars, have control. He shoots a mid-range jump shot and he hits it. That means it's a six-point game. And they get the ball again. He finds his teammate wide open for the layup. He finishes it. Now it's a four-point game. I can't lose this game now. Come on. So I, I, we get a steal. I seal the deal all the way. It's too easy. We end up winning the game. It was a close, it was a close one, but we end up winning. If you guys did enjoy episode seven of the Brownie My Career series, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'm out. Peace.